improved approach and departure angles thanks to Eurowise in the form of new bumpers front and rear and while we have everything off we're gonna do some cleaning and fix a couple things that needed addressing in the process we're gonna start up here in the front I already have the front bumper off the bumper I chose to go with is the 958 bull bar as opposed to the 957 I like the shape of this one just a little bit more and it does fit the 957 which is awesome my only two requirements for a bumper were mounting points or recovery points which are under that plastic, and then mounting points for lights. I don't have any use for a winch. The amount of off-roading you do in Ontario is limited to snowmobile trails pretty much entirely, which are super mellow, pretty much any vehicle can do them. So this is more of a look thing. I really wanted to create a motorsport-esque Cayenne, so we're gonna remove as much bumper as possible and have this bull bar mounted up with some lights. We're not gonna do the lights in this video, but we will do them soon. It's not entirely necessary to remove the front bumper to install this specific bull bar. All you really have to do is unscrew, or not unscrew, pop off the covers that cover the two tow hook points and screw this in. Super easy. But if you do want to remove this lower valence, like this extra foot of plastic that the fog lights are mounted to, again, you can do this with it on the car, but it's a little sketchy. And I think for the best result, taking it off is the best option. It's just held in by all these clips here. You can also remove it at this lower point here. And again, it's all just clips. So I want to do it the best way possible. And I thought it was a great opportunity to clean up everything behind the bumper as well. And if you remember in the last video where I did the lights, this mechanism that holds the headlights in, the clip snap, so they don't retain anymore. I did buy an OEM, it's called a headlight tray. Never heard of this before, but I did buy a new one and you do need the front bumper off to install it. So first things first, we're gonna install that, clean up the front bumper, and then we'll get to start taking this one apart and prepping it to go back on the car.
I got that bottom clip piece fully taken off. I think there was probably 25, maybe 30. I mean, maybe not that many, but a bunch of clips holding the bottom section on. Cut them off so it's super clean now. That would stick out the bottom probably about three quarters of an inch and just not look that great. I think if you had a black truck, it'd be fine, but this color, not the greatest. So those are gone. I think in like a best case scenario situation, he would do that and then have a body shop clean it up and repaint the bumper. It's not imperative whatsoever. It's literally on the bottom, but I think best case scenarios are always good to talk about. Now what I'm going to do, I removed four clips that hold on this grill, the center section, and that side. So I'm going to take some plastic JB Weld, I think, and just do a line across the bottom. There's a seam in there once you flip it over, just so it's extra stuck and I can have full confidence. I don't think it's going to move. It's still screwed in in multiple places, but I want to make it sure it's perfectly solid. After that, I'm going to throw in the fog light resistors, and I think we can throw this thing back on the car with the exception of one thing. So I did a little test fit off camera just to see what we were working with. This styrofoam piece that goes around the cross member, typically this would support part of the bumper because we removed the lower half of it and no longer does that. And it also sticks out the bottom and it looks not good, it's not pretty. So I'm actually gonna take this whole piece off and then probably hit it with some semi-gloss paint as well, just because I'm assuming there's a couple small areas of rust on that. So plastic JB Weld, ball gate resistors, painting the cross member. I'm going to do that first because it'll take the longest to dry. And then we can put everything back together in time to finally put the main reason we did all this, the actual Eurowise bumper. <laughs> weld is pretty much all cured now you can see that used to pull away from the bumper just a little bit there was a little bit of play in it but it's all locked in now doesn't look the greatest but it's in a spot you will never ever see again once it's on the car so now all I need to do take these fog light resistors so these are typically if you were installing LEDs on a car that has factory halogens this basically just tells the computer that nothing is wrong. And that's what it's gonna do here because we have removed the fog light. So we'll plug this in and then we'll probably zip tie it along here just to this existing loom to make it somewhat clean. And then we can throw this on and get on to the actual bumper stuff.
the bull bar is on, sturdy, and it looks great in my opinion. I mean, I had looked at thousands of photos of it previously, so I kind of knew what it was going to look like, but it is very nice to see it in person. If you were just doing this bull bar, honestly, it's probably a two minute install. The two left hand turning bolts on each side that go into the tow hook holes, and then the two bolts that hold this actually onto that. Probably two minutes, 30 seconds aside, and you're good. But if you are wanting to remove this lower section, it is gonna take quite a bit longer. And if you really wanna get it clean and looking as OEM as possible, I'd have some patience with it, because it is a little finicky, but I think this turned out good, in my opinion. I'm happy with it. Now, I can finish tightening or screwing in the bolts that hold in the actual bumper. Right now, it's just held on by the clips. So it's a little loose, but it held it in place to see where this was and make sure everything was lined up. I'll throw in the lights. I'm gonna route the hose for the headlight washers in this upper section now. I believe previously it used to hang down into the lower section that was removed. Obviously, you can't do that anymore. And then we'll see what it looks like all together. For the back bumper, I was gonna do it in this video, but this is just so long and it's a bit more involved than I had thought, so I'm gonna save it for another video. It can have its dedicated show time and I'll show you exactly how we're gonna do that because it does take some extra steps as well, like removing the muffler, which is queen size mattress size up there. So it should require some patience as well. Everything is fully back together using every single OEM screw and piece of hardware. The bumper's solid. It's a little, a little flimsy towards the bottom, but I still have the fender liners out. And I think once that is screwed in here, there's about three to four more screws. It should become a bit more rigid, which is good. And the reason the fender liner is out still is because there are these plates these two right here that are gonna get welded in to, I guess the pinch seam or the rocker. You push it back about an inch, just so you have proper clearance for larger wheels. Right now it slightly hits that. When turning, those plates fix it up. Someone was supposed to come and weld those in before this video, but 
couldn't get them here in time, so I'm gonna leave the fender liner out, along with the hardware, of course. They'll do that, then I'll probably throw those back in, probably when I'm doing the rear bumper, and as well as I have to cut it, of course, because it used to hang about a foot lower, so I'll put it in, mock it up with tape, and we'll just dremel it across. Cut a section out so you still have pretty much full protection from the elements behind the bumper. There's just quite a bit of wiring up there. So it'll protect all that stuff and leave it looking as OEM as possible, which is exactly what we want. As for the bumper, only thing left to do with that is throw on the lights. And when I do, I'll probably add some ceramic coating. I'm assuming once the vehicle's actually done, I'm gonna repolish it before I start daily driving it, just so I can have a nice finish on it. Obviously I am touching it everywhere and it's getting quite scratched, but as to be expected, I just wanted it to look good while I was doing this stuff, which I think I did a decent job of. So yes, next time you'll see this, we'll cut out the muffler in the rear and get on that rear Eurowise bumper.